How can you be so eh about this? This is Chloe and Oliver together here. Did you know they were dating? Well, no, of course you didn't. I mean, I didn't even know they were dating. We should sit with them. Or we can give them some space. Lois, they obviously came out here to escape from everything, kind of like we did. Look, I know that I ran a verbal marathon last night and then I fell asleep, but I promise, tonight is about the two of us. I waited for you to get ready for three hours. If it means being with you, I can wait forever. Forever's a long time. Really? No. Oh, God. You know what we could do? We could pretend not to see them. Oh, come on, Ollie. Throw up the white flag, it's Lois. She makes Susan B. Anthony look like a quitter. Quiet weekend at home, huh? Trust me, we had no idea the two of you would be here. And we had no idea there was even a you two, which I think is perfect. I think fate has brought us together. Well, sir. Uh, it's a little less fate, actually. More fame. I like fame. This inn is so far off the beaten path that even the society pages couldn't find Star City's most eligible bachelor here. You mean ex-bachelor? Okay, enough about that. How did you guys manage to find the road less traveled? Well, I found the brochure for the end of the apartment. I figured Lois wanted to come here. What brochure? That wasn't Lois's brochure, Clark. That was mine. How was I supposed to know that Oliver You was... weren't. That's the point. Well, don't look at me. I learned a long time ago not to assume what belongs to who in that apartment. You gotta use context clues. Mm. Yeah, speaking of clues, let's talk about Mr. Green in the bedroom with my cousin. There it is. Lois, I think they came here for brunch. Good point. Look, Chloe, there's food. little jellies. Okay, look, Lois, I know what you're gonna say, that with all these less than perfect track record, I should really just cut my losses and- Or I could say that this is one for the win column. I think it's great that you and Oliver are together. You do? Yeah, and the best part is, now we can double date. How awesome is that? Whoa, 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 Lois, no, no, no. Before you book us up for the next two months, Oliver and I are not a couple. Okay, sure. Then what are you? We're having fun. And we're not complicating things by using labels and definitions. This is a relationship, Chloe, not a spelling bee. Look, I'm glad that you have found someone that makes you happy, but we're not all cut out for couple them. And with Ollie, I don't have to worry about that, okay? We're no flowers, we're no presents, no pressure, no strings. And with you, we're no comment. So, you, uh, save any orphans recently? Old ladies, maybe? Something like that? I did stop a bank robbery. Yeah, that's nice, that's fun stuff. Thanks. How about you, anything new? No, 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 just, uh, oh, well, there's a, a new compound bomb I'm trying out. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Let's see how that works. Well, I know it's not my place to yeah, say then anything. Then don't but... say anything. But after everything Chloe's been through, I don't want to see her get hurt. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You know, she's stronger than you think she is, though. So. Yeah, but one of her strengths is giving people what they need and sacrificing what she wants. Well, how do you know this isn't what she wants? Just don't take her for granted. <laughs> 